Hello friends, welcome to our February Tupperware party. My name is Jane McMichael and I am excited to share February with you. Tupperware has so many great specials to help you have an easier, healthier lifestyle. So we've got some great February specials we're going to go through. The first one that I want to go through is a limited time. Actually, all of our specials are for a limited time because they may sell out before the scheduled time. But this one that I want to show you first, I'm really not sure how long it will last. So I would say order fast. And it is our wonderful new Wow Pop. Now you may have already seen videos about this because we're so excited about our new popcorn maker. And if you forget how to use it, the instructions, if I can get the light, is on the top, how to use it. You have a glass insert here that helps you to pop more kernels and have very few kernels that are not popped. And so then you, and you can see how for storage, it stores away so easy. And then when you get ready to pop, you just and open it up. Now, this one has been used many times because my husband and I have really fallen in love with having a healthy popcorn snack at the end of the day that we don't feel guilty using. So mine is well used. But then also when I get ready to store it away, I just pop it down and put the cover on. Now, when you've popped your popcorn, and in my popcorn, my popcorn maker, I eat, but a microwave is more than for popping popcorn, and we'll talk to you more about that. But in my microwave, two and a half minutes is the amount of time. And then when you, uh, as soon as you take it out, you want to just real quick open it because there's going to be some steam there and you want to let that steam out real quick before uh, it, your popcorn gets soggy. Then you see these little holes right there. See them? You use that, you shake, and all those unpopped kernels come out. Now, what we do then is we have a little softened butter, not melted, but softened and, and very, not near as much butter as you would normally get on popcorn because we're trying to stay a little healthier and mix it in here. Then I put the, turn the cover where it's closed, put it back in the microwave for 10 seconds on 50% power just to mix that popcorn, uh, that butter a little bit. Then when I come out, I shake it all different ways. Shake, 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 shake that butter through. Now, what I have been doing for my, my husband, and I always, also I put a little pepper on the popcorn and that adds a little flavor too. When, after you've put the butter on, put a little pepper on it too. On my part, I like to sprinkle some ranch salad dressing because I like ranch, but my husband's not a fan of ranch, so I do that just on mine. Now, our spice shakers are wonderful for so many things and keep them nice and fresh, and I have the ranch in my our large spice shaker here. I forgot to tell you where I get the popcorn. Of course, I've got my popcorn in my Modular Mate Square 2. You can get a huge bag of popcorn and that will last for many, many pops, a lot cheaper than those bags. So you are saving money. And I have the easy open cover on mine. Now you cannot 
buy this, but you can get it free when you host a Tupperware party, whether it's a virtual party or an in-person party, whatever works for you. We'd love to help you get a whole big set that includes four of the easy open covers, if you would like that. So, and then, but let me tell you what I'm going to do tonight. So that we'll have, since for a little something different, we're going to have cheesy popcorn. Now, you, I could go to the store and bought uh, all these expensive flavors for the popcorn. But instead, I ran down to the local store and got some cheese puffs and put it in my little power shelf. And I'm just going to pull it a few times here, shake it, one's got hung, and just pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it like that. And in just a few pulls, I'm going to have cheese dust, pop, pop cheese it, pop, uh, to put over the popcorn. Now, I really would have liked to get the flaming Hot Cheetos, but they didn't have it, but you can see how easy it is to get that cheese dust to flavor your popcorn and much cheaper than buying all of those flavors because a big bag of Cheetos will go a long way in those. So like I said, get your wild pop while you can because I don't know how long it will be available and it is a wonderful product. Now, a while ago, when I mistakenly called my microwave a popcorn popper, I said you can use your microwave for so many other things. So I'm going to show you one of them. And this is another one of our wonderful cell specials. This is your pressure cooker. Now, this is not your mother's pressure cooker. My mother had a pressure cooker. She used it all the time. It had that little jiggler that sat on the top and just jiggle. I was scared to death of that thing. But your microwavable pop, uh, pressure cooker is so different and works really good. You've got the little handle here. You just press in and lift up to relate and then just turn it to open and you will see that you've got the gasket in there that keeps it nice and sealed when you're cooking and you can use this for so many things when you go to put the cover on you just like see those little arrows line the arrows up there and then just it's easier to do it when it is setting down so let me set it right back down Line the arrows up. And just twist it shut right there. Can't try to do everything holding it close to the camera. But let me show you, like the use, used to have the jiggler, this has a little steam valve right here and just opens up and you do not open your pressure cooker until the steam valve has gone in. And then there's also another safety valve here for steam to escape. So whether you're making a soup, you can do soups in like 15 to 30 minutes in here. You can do uh, roast and potatoes so many things in our pressure cooker if you have one of these and has you used the microwavable pressure cooker please comment what you like to cook in it uh, i'm go i've got a new recipe i'm gonna try uh, sometime this week for a cheesy shrimp and a, a cheesy grits and then i'm going to use our micro pro grill and grill the shrimp and make shrimp and grits with it. So I'm looking forward to doing that. This is the only way I cook my potatoes for my potato salad. I wash my potatoes and then I take a knife and put little holes in them. Then I just stand my potatoes up in here and put just about a fourth a cup of water in the bottom 
and then I just put them in the microwave for about uh, 15 minutes and then once this uh, they cool off and I can open this and the potatoes have cooled that skin just peels right off then I put them in the larger larger version of our chopper and my mayonnaise, my well, my celery and onions, I bought, had already chopped up in that larger one. Put the potatoes in, the mayonnaise, a few pulls, my potato salad is done. So easy and wonderful. Uh, just a, so easy to use. So the pressure cooker, this is a wonderful time to get it while you can get it at this discounted price. So check that out also. Another one of my very favorite items is our uh, breakfast maker. And I was really disappointed when they took this out of our full line catalog, but <clears throat> I don't really know why, but right now we have it back for the month of February. So get you one of these breakfast makers because they can be used for so many things. We have the little inserts. You can use these for a lot of different things, uh, but it's great for poaching eggs. Now, I haven't done that. I've never even tasted of a poached eggs, I don't believe. So I'm going to set these aside and tell you how I use it. This, I would uh, take chop up some peppers maybe some onions if I wanted to, just whatever vegetables I want in. Then I put the cover in, on it, put it in the microwave for about one minute because it's tenderizing those uh, vegetables. Then I, while that's in, I take one of my Tupperware bowls and break about three eggs and put about a tablespoon of water in to help them fluff up better and I fluff it, whip them up, put that, pour them over my uh, vegetables, and then I put it back in the microwave for anywhere to a minute to two minutes, depending on your microwave. You don't want to overcook it. Now, I have some cheese shredded with my grade master, so as soon as they come out, then I throw the cheese on top, put the cover back on, and that steam just melts that cheese all over that omelet. We're talking three minutes probably in having a wonderful omelet. Now, if we're eating it at dinner for a light dinner, we like to put, uh, pour some uh, salsa over it and have like maybe i guess a mexican omelet you might want to call it or whatever but uh also another day have y'all noticed uh that i saw an advertisement i think it is uh subway is now selling foot long chocolate chip cookies well i made a six inch chocolate chip cookie the other day it was so easy just mix a few ingredients here Put it in the microwave for like one minute, and it was just the perfect six-inch chocolate chip cookie. And when you, you know, when you just, just want a little something sweet, but you know, if you go get a roll of, you know, cookie dough and eat the whole and cook the whole roll, you're gonna eat the whole roll. This limits like portion control, and my husband and I split it, so it was just like one chocolate chip cookie each. So try the breakfast maker. Anything you want to warm in the microwave, it is wonderful for on that. So let me see what we. I want to talk to you next about. We've got some of our utility utensils on sale. One, I mentioned those eggs for the omelet. We have our little wire whisk, and it's coated in plastic. This one is out of my kitchen. It is well used, and so the whisk is on sale. And then we have two different ladles, and I love both of them, the large one, the small one, but the, you know, the small one is what I've got out here for you to see. 
the ladles, you need to add this trio to your kitchen. It is wonderful. All three of them. Another little thing that I wanted to mention is our round container. I really like these. They're so great for carrying things, but I have a friend who is always carrying food different places, and she uses these for everything. She says this is one of the best things she's ever bought from me. And she may have a stack of three or four of these go into whatever event. And you can put, uh, fill them with cupcakes. You could fill them with cookies. You could fill it with sandwiches. Just so many different things. And the round containers are on sale for only $15. What a great deal on that. So that is a wonderful set. And then I don't have this, but this is what we used to call our bacon keeper. They're called the snack store small, but you can use these for so many different things. It's great for a cookie box and it does seal up nice and tight. Y'all, I want to tell you before Christmas, I made a lot of cookies and uh, I found out that uh, I was in one of the businesses today where I made them for, and they still had some of their cookies. They said, yeah, we're still eating them. So I had to try it. These cookies were made around December the 16th, 17th, 18th. They were still good. And so you can store so many things in there, not just bacon. You can use them for so many different things. So one last thing that I want to talk to you about is our uh, fresh and cool set. And I don't have the complete 12 piece set, but I've got the uh, enough for you to see kind of what it's like. You get three of this size which these are great for you know meal prep if you like to do meal prep these are for your refrigerator your cabinet they're not for the microwave or the freezer and they have the little circles there on top and on bottom so that they will stack together and almost kind of, I mean, kind of lock in really good so you get three that size, you get three of this size. Now all of the seals will be a different color, I'll show you. And this is so cool, especially if you've got a liquid in here. When you, when you need to pour, you've got almost like a spout there for pouring. You'll get three of one that's just a little larger than this and three of one that's half this size. So if you're looking for some nice storage containers, <coughs> excuse me, for your refrigerator, or, you know, this is just wonderful for everything, like your leftovers, just don't put it in the microwave, your uh, meal prep uh, and plan aheads and things like that. So you enjoyed our Tupperware party. Please let us know if you have any questions. We'd love to help you with your own Tupperware party, whether it's virtual or in-home. We'll be glad to help you. Also, think about doing what we do and earn money with Tupperware. Even if it's just part-time, or maybe you just want to be a personal shopper and buy your products wholesale. Or maybe you're interested in a lifetime career like I've had. So thank you so much for joining our February party and have a wonderful month.